சபா பயங்கர ஹீட் இல்லை சரியான சம்மர் போய் தண்ணி குடிச்சிட்டு வந்துடுறீங்களா எது ஸ்குவாஷ் தான் குடிப்பீங்களா ஸ்குவாஷ் குடிக்கிறதுக்கு ஒரு டேஸ்ட் ரைட்டு பட் ஸ்குவாஷ் ராக்கெட்டில் அடிக்கிறதுக்கு ஒரு ஸ்குவாஷ் டேஸ்ட் இருக்கணும் இல்லையா ஸோ ஸ்குவாஷ் சாம்பியனை பற்றி தான் நம்ம இன்னைக்கு பேசுகிறோம் அந்த சாம்பியன் தான் வந்திருக்காங்க அது உங்களுக்கு இறுதி சுற்றி இந்த மாதிரி படம்லாம் வரும்போது பாக்ஸிங்கில் பெண்மணிகள் எப்படி கலகிறாங்கன்னு பார்த்துருப்பீங்க பட் ரொம்ப ரேரான ஒரு கேம் ஸ்குவாஷில் அதில் ஒரு சாம்பியன் ஆகி அதில் இன்டர்நேஷ்னல் ஃபேம் அர்ஜுனா அவார்டு துரியோதன அவார்டு எல்லா அவார்டையும் வாங்கி இந்த மாதிரி ஃபேமஸான ஒரு சாம்பியன் இங்கே இருக்காங்க வேர்ல்டு நம்பர் தேர்ட்டின் நினைக்கிறேன் அதை வந்து நம்ம செக் பண்ணிக்கலாம் வணக்கம் ஜோஸ்னா ஸோ தேங்க்யூ ஸோ மச் அண்ட் பை எனி சான்ஸ் ஹவ் யூ ப்ராட் தி ஸ்குவாஷ் ரேக்கெட் வித் யூ No, not today. I mean, I'm, I'm totally confused because I don't know which is the racket and which is you. Almost, <laughs> because you're almost as slim as the uh, racket. So what's in store? What are the other awards you're looking up to now for? After the Arjuna? Um, I'm not really looking at any awards right now. Good. But it came your way. <laughs> it came my way. How, and how were you recognized for that? Um, well, everyone was so uh, appreciative and uh, I got a lot of messages and congratulations. Oh, and really? More than anything, my dad thought he had won the Arjuna. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's a good one so it was nice it was very very uh, good function in delhi and oh really yeah mm-hmm. because you mentioned about your dad normally here in a conservative family you're not allowed to go out to go for greener pastures go into sports and all that but they were quite liberal with you that you have to go into the sport uh well my dad and mom were both very very supportive of uh, my squash and the fact that uh, this was going to be my career i'd already told them when i was 10 that i was going to play squash and um, they were absolutely or oh, what was the foresight at right at the age of 10 you spotted on squash normally if it's a female they resort to tennis or some table tennis or something it's a very rare uh, game isn't it well my dad is a squash player himself and i used to tag along with him to the club and i played uh, several other sports badminton tennis but they told me to choose any one sport and i ended up choosing squash so you were very confident that you'll really make it big in this and did somebody spot and tell you that you're going to make it big i was very confident that i didn't want to go to school <laughs> so bunking uh, class for the sake of yes, squash. Yes, not going to school at all just to play squash and train and all okay. of that but my mom obviously the smartest one in the family didn't let me do that. Okay. Um and I, the pla- the condition was that if I wanted to play I had to study and finish school and finish college. Oh, that's a big ordeal. Big time. <laughs> but at the end of the day I was very happy to get a degree get from into college. Squ- okay yeah. okay fine 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 but at some point of time have you felt that there is undue importance g- being given to games like cricket and tennis and uh, squash is totally neglected uh, i think that's always going to happen i don't think any sport can change cricket being but when you knew sport. that uh, fully well yeah. how is that you resorted into this game oh i it, i didn't really think of those things for me i just enjoyed playing a sport and it brought me a lot of happiness and i got to play with my friends and all of that so oh, really uh, deepika paligal is quite close to you Uh, she's my teammate we're friends uh, we um, we hang out at tournaments we shop we eat lunch we eat dinner so at tournaments because it's just her and me on the pro tour oh really and so when have you been rivals <laughs> no question of jealousy and no, me and no no not at all i think it's Some, all somewhere just i read in the paper <laughs> it's, it's not true but no i mean you know sometimes the media just wants to write just something like two girls competing with each other one yeah, yeah. or two of the country and uh, I what I think is that when we play we both want to really win and then I think sometimes people can just think like oh it's super competitive but it's just for me she's just another player that I'm playing with so you're very team. helpful of course like at at tournaments and stuff because it's just her and me if she's playing a match I'll help her in the and by any chance were you helpful in a romance <laughs> with Dinesh no, Karthik that was that was completely <laughs> on her own that was a different courting <laughs> on a different yeah, court yeah yeah that was truly her she takes full credit so now just tell me something about the game now because if it is tennis we are able to follow it clearly with one guy serving fault double fault advantage dues and all that but in the, i've just visited this uh, squash court once and i see one person smacking the ball in, in a green uh, court and then one behind yeah. constantly smacking each other yeah. i mean with the ball so it's four walls the front wall is the main wall okay. one person from there are two service boxes as well okay. so one person serves to the other person on the other side right. and then after you serve you can hit the ball anywhere but it has to go to the front wall and okay. you can either take it on a volley or you can take it on a first bounce so it's about really moving your opponent around the court but still making sure you hit the front wall that is right it is quite taxing physically but it's a restricted space isn't it it's very restricted space don't you tend to get too monotonous about it no i mean uh, there are different ways to play there are different shots to play there are different strategies and everything and it's always exciting you're playing different uh, players who have different styles some hit it really hard some hit it really soft and oh, slow really? so you're constantly adjusting yes having someone in your space all the time oh, can really? be a little hard 
but uh, that's the beauty of the uh, when can we expect you to go up the ladder and uh, figure in number one in the world well currently the I'm, I'm 14 in the world not 13 no i was 13 last month oh anyway, my god anyway, anyway, anyway i don't like the number 13 so it's fine <laughs> for that sake you shifted to 14 yeah, pretty much hey, be careful so when you have to take a license they'll ask you for eight you might say eight is not lucky i'll go for seven or nine no, fortunately, only 13 is the number I don't 13, like. 13, okay. <laughs> and uh, hopefully this year, let's see. Good, good. Very good. And what about this jet lag, adjusting to the jet lag? You're all, all the time you're globe trotting. Yes. Suddenly you land up somewhere in Europe, somewhere in Dubai, Qatar. And you have to adjust to the time, isn't it? How, how easy is it is or how difficult it is? Well, I feel like when, when I go west towards like England or America, then okay. it's, uh, it's much easier. I'm able to adjust into the timing oh, really? really quickly. But when I come back to India, then I feel really jet lag. Like I would be sleeping at 4 in the morning and waking up at 9 and then going back to sleep at 3. So oh, really? It's harder when I come back to India. So playing in India or playing abroad, which, is, which has been more fruitful to you by way of results? Um, I think I've had good results abroad and okay. also I've had some in India but there have not been that many tournaments for me to play in India internationally so for me to really you know oh get really. the good results that I want. And most of you all are associated with the racket culture I find most of them emanating from Kurg. What is the secret? Kurg, mango <laughs> and all coffee. that. Coffee. Bopanna <laughs> and all that. It's just the coffee. The coffee, nothing else, some, some background. <laughs> and it good genetics. Oh really? Yeah. Good, good. So how about your fitness? Maintaining your fitness throughout? You seem to be the same, same weight. Probably past 10 years I've been seeing you at Shape Park. You're almost the same. No, I've put on weight but it's no. muscle. Oh, it's muscle. Yeah. Okay. So, so what is the so fitness secret? Fitness I'm, regime? Uh, I'm very particular about my fitness and my strength training. I work with my trainer Rajamani and uh, we do about 5 sessions a week. 3 times his weights. Oh really? Uh, uh, 6 sessions actually and 3 times his fitness. Okay. Plus I play a lot of squash. I do a lot of beach running. I'm in the, uh, I do a lot of weight training. So it's a combination of a lot of... So uh, probably exercises. physical activity consumes around almost 3 fourths of the day? Pretty much, yes. And you'd never get tired of it? No, I don't. What are the other games you might have crept into? Crept into? Um, I still play a lot of tennis. I play a tennis. lot of badminton. Okay. I like playing table. I like playing all racket and badminton. Never ever felt that you should be shifting to tennis or somewhere? Um, I think when I was younger, I think people told my parents to put me in tennis. But okay. uh, because I had my dad who was like a mentor and he played himself, it was easy to identify with the game and you know, someone to help me in the sport. So that's pretty much why I chose And uh, how about your experience in getting motivated? Some, suppose midway in a match, you are almost tending to lose. Yeah. And at that time, you have to get yourself recharged, come back, bounce, into, bounce back into the game. Yeah. So what is the secret? What happens? You think of somebody like the, the climax, the hero or heroine thinks of somebody, <laughs> looks at the heroine and bashes up a dozen villains. What happens then? Well, there are many times where I've come back from, you know, almost being, uh, having lost From zero, the minus ten, back. Pretty much. Either two love down and, you know, oh, really? uh, match ball down and okay. won, won a match. Uh, I just tend to uh, focus on each point at a time instead of thinking of trying to get two, three points at a time. I, okay. I tend to, you know, make sure like I take a few deep breaths and I, and I focus on each point at a time. So when I play each point properly, then I know I'm going to win each point and then you take it from there. Oh really, there are so many people who are aspiring to get into this field and uh, is, it a, is it totally a rich man's game? Not really. I, at one point it was like an elite sport because you had to you know, either play it at a club, be a member of a club and that was expensive. But now we have a, a squash academy in Chennai, the Indian Squash Academy. So that has, uh, so anyone's got access to that, you can go pay and play and you know, be a part of the school's program and, and all of that. They have different categories. Well, if someone wants to make a professional career out of squash and get into some organization enterprise through this, yeah. if it's a sports quota, would you advise oh, them absolutely. to take up this game? Absolutely. Actually, another way uh, people have used the sport is that a lot of people I grew up playing squash with, at 16, 17, they had the opportunity to go play at Harvard, Princeton, Yale in America and on a squash uh, scholarship. Right. So a lot of them, I'm actually one of the only ones who chose to play for India and, and go professional. Good. While as all my friends growing up have are all got degrees from Harvard, Princeton. And wow, wow, so super, super. Be Indian, buy Indian, play Very Indian. Much, yes. So there was a sudden transformation. You started getting the Arjuna Award, a lot of awards and so much of media focus on you. At 360 degrees, you turn around, you see cameras flashing on you. So how was that experience, especially along with Deepika? You know what, I don't take all those moments too seriously. Wow, I great, really, I great. really don't. My focus is to train, to play and I, and I make sure whatever I choose to do, like, like a public event, like I, it's very like, um, 
I, I don't do too much of it because it takes away from my sport and I'd rather be playing and training than looking pretty. So. Oh really? Good, good, good. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. And uh, what about the matches between India and Pakistan? Are these matches as hot and violent as the cricket matches are? You know, my experience for the first time got, a pre uh, got pretty aggressive with Pakistan when I played them at the SAF games. Oh Asana. really? Okay, okay. And the girl I was playing with was from Pakistan and she really wanted to win and she was going all out at me like literally pushing me, blocking like me. Like how Javed Minda it doesn't rig it. Yeah, it was constantly <laughs> keeps muttering something at yeah. She Luckily she didn't tell me anything but uh, she was very very pushy on court and there were times I had to tell her to back off like <laughs> literally. And, uh, and with the men as well, when they played them in the finals as well, it got pretty aggressive. They were talking to each other and you know, like literally, it was, it was pretty aggressive. But is the sledging as violent as it is in, when you play in Australia, when you play cricket at Australia? Yeah. Sledging and people snaring at you and all that? Um, it, I don't think people swear as much, like they won't call you a bad word, but they will like block you and they will pick up a double bounce and okay, they will okay. make sure you, they block your path to the ball because squash is such a contact sport. Okay. Like uh, some players can play a little dirty like that. And uh, from what I read, Qatar seems to be very lucky, you know, sentimentally very lucky players for you. Qatar, you you were qu uh, clicking quite well there. Uh, well, I had a good tournament there where I beat the world number one in the first round. Wow. So that was, uh, I mean, that's the only time it happened, one time in Qatar. <laughs> so but I wouldn't qualify that as lucky, but it was a good tournament. What have the big sports personalities got to say about your game and all that? How do they view you? You got a chance to meet them? <laughs> Um, in other I, sports, I, cricketers, I, tennis players and all that. Yeah, I've, I've met a lot of interesting athletes, a lot of top athletes and uh, but no one's really come and told me about my game. When you're on the flight, are you recognized? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and you feel happy about it? Uh, no, I tell them it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> any any <laughs> movie offers? Um, <laughs> I got an offer to do some item number. <laughs> item number? That's so interesting. Good. With, uh, the, with the racket in hand. Yeah, but I was like, I'm not putting 20 kilos on for this. <laughs> so you you were very frank and you told them straight. Yeah, firstly, I would never do something like that mm. anyway. Like it's just not my scene. But it was pretty flattering. Great. And what are your funny moments with either your classmates, with your friends, or your colleagues here in this field? How funny are they? Um, you know, there was. I'll tell you this one incident. In uh, we were in England, and Deepika and me were in our in our house in uh, England, sharing a, a room. And we get a call, we were sleeping and we get a call like, listen, there's a fire in the building, you guys got to leave, like it's, you know, you got to leave right now. And I'm like putting my clothes on, I mean like my pants on, my coat on and like, um, I was like, do we need to take anything else? Good, good. So I'm like taking my laptop and she's like, get out, we need to go, it's a fire, you can't keep taking stuff with you. And then I'm, we're on the 15th floor and then, sorry, and then um, I, I'm pressing the elevator and she's like, you cannot go down the elevator, literally like. And then we had to walk down 15 floors and we're coming out like, you know, like this, like making sure I oh, okay, okay. okay. And everyone in the building was down like half an hour earlier, you know, literally. And they were all staring at us like, just her and me coming out mm, okay, of the okay. building. And it was funny because everyone started laughing at us. Oh, really? So good, good, good. <coughs> well, Game-wise, what do you find which is totally, something which is totally striking in the way Deepika Palikal plays? Um, she's a very, uh, she's, she's quite an attacking player. And uh, she's got a lot of skill, like when you go up, when you take her up front to the court, like she can hide the ball pretty well, so you don't know where she's hitting sometimes. So she's got good skill with her hands, like she's got good wrist. Oh really? But, you, but do you feel that it is the least competitive this particular game? You don't have much competition at all here, in, at the in, national in, level here? I think my only competition would be uh, Deepika, obviously. You know, she we both compete at the same level. There are a couple of junior girls who are pretty good as well, okay. so I wouldn't take them lightly. And what about the gents' participation? In the gents, there is uh, there are about five of them playing on the professional circuit, and they're all pretty uh, pretty good. And uh, aside from them, there are some up and coming juniors. And you have mixed doubles in this. We have mixed doubles and doubles only at the Commonwealth Games. So, okay. but we do have the World Doubles Championships in Australia this year, which is happening after quite a while. Any superstitions? Um, Any specific color? I I always have to wear my left sock and left shoe first. Left and left. Okay, okay, good. Yeah. And uh, I like to eat the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for as long as I'm in the tournament. Like I will not change my diet. Whatsoever. Supposing your rival comes to know of this and quickly flicks your sock, left sock and left shoe. So, will you participate? <laughs> uh, 
it will mess with my head a little bit <laughs> but so, i have my backup so so these ups and downs how do you get over all this supposing you're feeling dull or low that you lost a match and all that how do you bounce back I that that's because of sheer practice or somebody coming and really uh, giving you a pep talk and all that i eat a lot of chocolate after every match such a sweet person a very sweet person really <laughs> so that makes me feel better for like just 10 minutes good 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 <laughs> and then uh, i have a sports psychologist who i work with so he's been very uh, helpful with me but i eat a lot of chocolate after veg or non veg like what no no in general yeah. for the sports which is more suitable you are more into veg i i as a person prefer vegetarian food but uh, as an athlete i need non veg so i do eat non veg so you watch tamil movies i love tamil movies love tamil which are those i saw papanasam really yeah, that I was top and awesome it. sorry yeah that was top and awesome that's the comment i gave for the film so how why did you like it i just like the story plot i liked all the actors and it, it's something very like it's real i like tamil films i find them a lot more real i i identify with them a lot your favorite actor i love ajit because of I raising he is one more sport yeah that and also i i think he's a very nice person like met I, him i have met him a long time back he just seems very humble what did you talk not much <laughs> spoke about vijay <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. So, what are other uh, things that excite you? Uh, pet, pet culture, pet lover. I love, I love animals, and I love dogs. My, my mom and her, her help at home, they rescue a lot of dogs from the road. And our house is usually the intermediate house where before they go to someone else's house. Oh, really? And uh, I do have a, uh, a rescue pup from the from the road. You find Chennai exciting? Still exciting? sometimes sometimes so not too happy here no nah, i'm very happy here, <laughs> but but i like when i get away as well so. get away which is the particular spot i mean get away from my to my town with us or where where do you i love playing in the us that's my favorite any specific there. reason i'm i'm just comfortable there more, i like more the, more enamored by the discipline and all that there not really i just uh, I just like it. I'm comfortable there. I love the supermarkets there. Okay. I, I can walk around and get around, and I just feel comfortable there. Your best company at home and outside? My best company at home is myself. Yourself? Yes, myself. Good. And and what uh, about the psychologist? He doesn't advise you. He's okay. actually in UK, so it's like just WhatsApp, like when we talk okay, and stuff okay. like that. Good. Um, outside, um, I like hanging out with my friends once in a while. Good, good. Dressing and shopping. Um I'm not obsessed but like when I'm abroad I tend to pick up whatever I like if I see it. Driving on the roads Chennai roads? Quite happy? Not happy. And how do you find the weather now? <laughs> so cool. So you never into outdoor sport isn't it? Never into outdoor it's, mo- mo- it's indoor. But you tend to sweat a lot. Is it air conditioned your court? Um when I play tournaments abroad it's all air conditioned but when I play here in Chennai there's no AC so I'm playing in like 50 degrees weather So super apart from the Arjun award as I said in the beginning I expect more Duryodhan award the entire Mahabharat award for you <laughs> and the entire Bharat is waiting to clap to applaud and to whistle for all your success Thank you Thank you so much for joining us Thank you Thank you What a fun being here with Bosky for this interview uh before coming here I was quite excited because I knew it was going to be a fun light joking that with interview and uh, i just like to wish him all the best and i think you should tune in aatre indan geedam arge sugama unko bangal sugama urke natchathir thural thural kevalam aagpona oru dadu na oru play audition pone 